Hello and welcome to Tech 18. I am Ahmad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about how to use web API with key in Power BI. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. I recommend you also click on the join button to know in detail about what are the benefits you are going to get when you are becoming a member of this channel and it's highly appreciated if you do support my channel for the effort which I am doing it here. So first of all, what is Web API? I am not going to cover what is Web API. There are lots of plenty of videos available on the web. Please go and check out that video. And here the problem is the Web API generally comes with two. One is open and another is with key. So open to all means our data is not secure. If you want to access your company financial data, mostly people will not do that without any key. So we need to provide a key for that. And the solution is actually that we need to use the key. So what are the things which you need here is web API with key. That's it. So now let's dig into some details about how we can do that. So this is the website gorest.co.in. It just provides as a sample web APIs with key and without key as well. So here, for an example, if you look into some informations like gorest.co.in publicv 2 slash users, and if I click on this one, it just gives information about the users in a JSON format, right? It's good. So now if I go back here and if I want to try it out in Power BI, so I can just copy this API, click on new source and then web here. And now you need to copy and paste that URL under the basic itself. I am going to do the advanced tab in the next one. If I click on that, it will ask you for the login initially a new screen will come up here you just need to provide the api key if it is there as this is no api key so i'm just clicking on ok and it just gives me the result here so now you can see this is a list of 10 users which is available on that api and it's up here now let's say for an example you want to secure the data so here in this website if you log in and then it gives you a uh, customize API token for your login so that using that login only you can able to fetch those informations. So to do that, you just need to log into this website, which is free. You can log in through GitHub, Google or Microsoft. I'm using Google for now and then click on my email ID. And here you can see this token here. So we can refresh this. We can delete this whenever we need here. And now if I go back to this previous ID, I mean, if I click on the previous link, so here they have given an example of how we need to use that. So basically, when you are going to use the API with some keys, there are like headers and then the keys which we need to pass. So here what happens is, I will just copy this link here. I will just copy the link from here and if I go back to my Power BI, so now I go to new source and then click on web here. This time I'm just adding up this URL here and I need to click on advanced tab. And here if I zoom up here, there are multiple HTTP header request header values here parameters. But most of the APIs will have a different header names. So here in our case, what we have is if I go back to the website, Okay, so if you look into this website, they have given the header name as authorization and then the bearer token about how we need to add. So this is the same way we need to add. We just need to give the header name as authorization and whatever the key which we have, we just need to add the bearer as well as the key name here. So I'm going to copy and paste this key with the bearer on before to this name bearer and then space and then authorization and in then if I click on OK, this actually access the API with the key here and here again it's asking me to how we need to access you need to click on web API and then provide the same key here with those bearer information and here you need to select to this. So this is just a sample information which I have added here, how you need to use 
the web api with the api key if you like this video just click on the big thumbs up button if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications but make sure you turn on the notification on your devices share it with your friends and colleagues if you have any queries and feedback just post it on the comment section below thanks for watching keep learning see you in the next video